All right, we're back. Into the first dungeon of the game, kind of like the starter dungeon, which is inside the Deku tree. I have to come in here to try to help the, the great uh, Deku tree who's been cursed. So unlike the ones outside, these guys oh, Jesus. can actually attack you. But you do get Deku nuts from them. If you hit them in the head and then you kill them, you get these. And these are actually useful, even though I tend not to use them much. Uh, but they are useful. Because uh, they stun enemies. So yeah, if you attack these guys in the head and kill them, you'll get those. If you still... God dang. If you attack them with... Like you were... Like here's a... If you attack them with a... Kill them from the stalk still. Like that, you still get the... Um, the sticks. So she's basically telling you how to look. see that there's somewhere to go underneath there so you can either climb up this ladder here or go up the uh, vines or in the center area of the room either way gets you to the same spot scrubs. So I'm gonna bounce, just block the nuts they shoot at you and then run up to them and they'll apologize basically. And some of these guys you will have to kill, some actually sell you things. Um, sales scrubs. Or He's basically telling you a hint like if you, if you jump from a high point you can hold forward and you'll roll and not take damage. Works uh, very well. Of course, if you fall some, somewhere way high up, it won't matter. But oh, she's a rough time early on here. Usually, you just jump right across that, but I hit the wrong button. I'm still getting used to the three, having the 360 controller to play this. Slingshot, which is used a lot in this game. Technically, you're supposed to jump on that, but well, it fell anyway. So you get to hit the uh, ladder across the way with a slingshot. And you have to go. So to shoot things with slingshot, you can Z target them and then use it, and then it'll just hit them really nice and easy. And now you'll get uh, Deku seeds as drops since you have a slingshot. Another easy one. You can also uh, just aim while holding down the C stick. Use the stick to aim do it that way as well, so. You use both ways throughout the game. Here, 
use the uh, switch to raise the platforms. They're timed platforms. So you could, uh, you know, you need to hustle. And this is the compass, I believe. It's been a while since I played this, so. Yep. Basically shows you uh, where the boss is in a dungeon. Shows you the uh, where the chests are in a dungeon. As you can see in the map on the bottom right there, it's showing that there's a chest over there. So it shows you. Um, so that's what's good with the compass. So you just knock these up again. You can kill this the guy. Uh, the Skotolo earlier, you can just jump off to the side of him, he can't get you. So this chest is just a heart, but it's a chest. And here are gold Skotolos, these are important. There's a hundred of these in the game, and there is a uh, basically a side quest that involves them. Meaning you can get a... Uh, for every 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 100 you collect, you can get a, uh, use a, real quick, use a stick on there to light the torch. It's a typical puzzle in this game, lighting torches. You get a, uh, you know, a, tri a prize, or whatever, for a you know, quest for every 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 100. So, uh... The price for a hundred kind of sucks. If I remember right, it's just it's just rupees, and by that time, I think it's just rupees. And by that time, you don't even need them. So, oh lord, that wasn't good. <laughs> All right. Anyway, by the time that you get the rupees, you don't even need them anymore. That was horrible. And now we gotta actually kill these guys again. Anyway, so yeah, so for 100 you get, uh, it's not really worth getting all the way to 100 unless you just want to complete the game, be a completionist, and you get all of them, which is, you know, normal, I think, for a lot of people. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to get all 100. I might just go for 50, because I actually can use up to that. It's actually worthwhile. That's how you're supposed to do it. I held back for some reason. I thought I was going to miss it. It slowed him down. So, there's one here. If I can hit him. as well. You just basically jump across close to the to the wall there and you'll and you'll grab it. Um you can always hear those guys anyway, you can always hear the skotolas. If you get close to them, so you just gotta pay attention. So we need to get through there, basically, by doing another torch puzzle. Like this, jump in the part of the water here that actually has um, ground, so you don't fall in the water. Just remember, you can always use your sword there if you're holding a torch. If you hold the torch too long, once on fire, you'll lose it. If you slash with your sword um, while it's still lit, you'll actually just put it away. You'll still keep it. So. Good thing to just keep doing that to save them. So this guy's basically telling you how to beat his brothers up ahead. Gives you a code 231. 23 is number one. I was thinking Michael Jordan for that one, because 23 is definitely number one when it comes to Michael. So there we go with that. 
that's a little um, clue for what's coming up ahead. So you just want to shoot at the eye here with your uh, slingshot stores. One of the puzzles you'll be seeing a lot of. Still in the old Zelda games. Telling you if you hold A, you can dive in water. Basically, you have to dive here. If you go on that, you'll get hit. So, get close to this guy, dive down, use the switch, lowers the water level. Um, it's also timed. You can always hear the clock ticking on those. So, basically, to jump on here. And get across. Another skull tube. Easy. And one of the first of many blocks that you can move and as usual she has to tell you about it. It would be nice if you had a turn Navi off button. Okay, every time you play the game, it's like, I know this, but that's how it goes. So pushing blocks, definite Zelda staple. Just hold for the block, and you can climb it by hitting A. So basically another uh, pretty obvious puzzle involving uh, torches. up here you'll see uh, these eggs on the ceiling which will drop down if you when you run underneath them these are uh, baby gomas I think they're called baby oh goma larva goma is actually the oops, is actually the boss of the uh, temple it's kind of a little foreshadowing I guess So the jump attack takes, you know, an, an extra point of damage off the of things. So now there's actually, you can see here, we can burn this, but there's a wall behind it. There's a uh, gold skulltella we can get back there, but we don't have bombs yet. Once we get bombs, you can come back to do that. So basically, that's the way we need to go for now. Now you can't roll with these to go faster. You need to hurry up. So we're crawling through, and we're back to the room we were in earlier. But on this side that we couldn't get to, as you can see, here's a block. Basically, you need to burn the weapon on the ground over there, but you couldn't get to it. You know, you didn't have a torch to use until you were able to move that block. So you can just roll over it, which is what I tend to do. You can actually swing while you're falling. And, uh, so if you want to keep your techie stick. Now here's what the 23's number one puzzle is. So you want to run up to have the second guy. You can hit it, bounce it back to him first. Which means that you did it right. There's three. And then you're the one. This guy will be the one to talk to you. Strike with 
your sword while she's stunned. So we're, we're loaded up on everything, so here we go. First boss fight of the game. And not a very hard one. Little intro to the room, typical Zelda fashion. Hear her in there. Basically, you gotta look at her, stare at her, and chill. Boom. So the best way to kill her obviously, is use a slingshot. Hit her in the eye. It stuns her, and then go in with some sword attacks. So just. Her. If you get close enough to her, you just keep her targeted. When the eye turns red, shoot her again. Jump attack. Jump attack. Jump attack. <laughs> that is uh, pretty easy. You can actually kill her, I think, on that first, very first attempt if you do it right, which I didn't, but that was not too bad. That's how you start it off, and you get your heart container. Number one in the game, so you get maximum life goes up, you get four hearts, and it fills up. And that is all. So we will warp out here, talk to the Deku Tree, who's pleased with your abilities.
All right, so we'll end it here after that long, basically setup of the game, telling us how the world was created and what Ganon wants with the Triforce. You can give you whatever your heart desires. He obviously has an evil heart. So we'll get back uh, in a little bit. Take care.